In a previous video, we talked about squat mechanics and some of the feedback was really, really good. And one question that I got asked a lot was, how do I get more open in my hips? And honestly, that's a question I get asked a lot about a lot of things, jumps, dance, tumbling, getting those hips open so that those things are much more aesthetic, they're prettier. And so today we're gonna to go through a hip opening series that's gonna help with your squats if you're feeling like your hips are really tight. And if you just want some better things like your jumps and kicks and things like that, this will help you too. So don't turn it off, stick with me. We're gonna play the little thing. It's gonna say cheer doc right about now. Okay, so we talked about squat mechanics. Very, very important. One area that a lot of people struggle with are hips. How wide should I go? Where should my knees go? I can't seem to get my knees open because my hips feel so tight. Or maybe you're working on your jumps. You're trying to get your toe touch to go a little bit higher and your hips won't seem to open no matter how many splits and middle splits and kicks and all that stuff you're doing, they still won't open. So today we're gonna talk about how to open your hips up, but we're gonna be doing it using lunge and squat variations to help move through the hips, not just static stretching, because that stuff's boring. So for today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in a, in a squat position. And from here, we're going to explore our hip range of motion in the squat. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and squat all the way down. Once we get to the bottom, we just wanna kind of rock back and forth and really just kind of feel out how loose or open our hips can get just on their own. Once we find some areas that feel a little bit tight, take a mental note of what feels tight. Right hip, left hip, tightness in the front, tightness in the back. To get started, what we're gonna do is we're going to take our left hand and we're going to push it against the inside part of our knee. Now, instead of just holding this, we're gonna actually move through it. So we want to kind of push out, then we're gonna push back in, out, back in, a little bit of hold, and there's really no right or wrong here. We're just trying to find where we feel tension and try to work through it. Once that starts to loosen up, we're gonna to switch to the other side. Again, pushing out on the inside of the knee and back in, in and out. And again, you can play with your height on your squat on this too. So if you feel like you wanna raise up a little bit and push out, that's good. And if you wanna lower down and push out, that's good as well. Now keep in mind, our hip is a ball and socket. So it can rotate really any direction we want. So because of that, we can get stuck in a ton of different places. So we don't wanna do the same exact thing every single time. We really want to look for where do I feel restriction? Where do I feel tight? Where do I feel like my hips not opening? And we want to focus on those points. Once we've gone through our squat using our hands to push, we're gonna go into a second variation of that. What we're gonna do then is we're going to put our hand on the floor, or either hand right side or left, and we're gonna reach up towards the sky, twisting through our trunk, reaching, trying again to open up those hips and also let our upper body move with it. And from there, we can either hold, we can reach down and reach up, there's really, again, no right or wrong answer. We just want to move. We want to feel more mobile in the bottom of the squat. Same thing on the other side. We would twist, reach up and down. And again, we want to play with how high am I, how low am I in my squat. There's no, again, no wrong answer. We want to explore all the space, right? Explore the space, get some movement. Once we finish with our squat, we're gonna go into some lunge variations. Now with this, we're gonna get into a low lunge. So we're gonna take a big step forward. Our knee is going to drop to the ground. And we're gonna do a very similar thing that we did in our squat. We're gonna simply put the hand against the knee, place the other hand out to the side, and we're going to push that knee out while we rock back and forth through the lunge. We want to find the points that feel tight. Don't go into the easy parts, go into the challenging parts and try to work through those to get more range of motion. Once we've done that, we're gonna to switch to the other side, push against that knee, really explore the hip, find those tight areas until they loosen up. And then our last piece of that is we're gonna do a very similar thing on the lunge, but we're gonna let that front foot flip out. We're gonna let the side of the foot get down onto the floor and we're gonna open that lunge up to make it a little bit longer. Now with this, be careful. You're putting your hip in a pretty extreme range of motion here. We also don't wanna pull a hamstring while we're doing this, but we want to again, kind of explore the space with the foot flipped over on the side and we would do that on both sides. So by implementing these hip openers into your warm up, or even on the days that you're just doing some stretching um, or working on your recovery, you can work on opening up those hips and finding the areas that you're stuck. Remember again, this whole video is about opening up the hips in areas that you feel stuck. So if you're working on this and you're like, wow, this is really easy, it doesn't take much effort, 
then either A, you don't need to do it, or B, you're not finding the sticky points or the parts of your hip that you need to be working on. So make sure to seek out the areas that feel tight or the ranges of motion that feel tight. Don't just go to the easy stuff because if you do, you're not gonna get anywhere and then you wasted your time. Thanks so much for joining me for this video. I hope that you get crazy wide open hips from doing these stretches. I know when I do these, they help me a ton, especially on things like my squats because sometimes my hip gets tight because I'm getting old, right? Not getting old, kind of, kind of getting old. But if you'd like more videos on how to get some flexibility, click on this link right here. If you haven't already, subscribed to the channel, click that link right there. And if you don't know what Hit Zero Nutrition is, you're living under a rock. It's the only nutrition company for cheerleaders. Hit Zero. How many of you guys like the words Hit Zero? I know I did, I know you do, and now there's a nutrition company for you that's all about hitting zero, being the best athlete you can be. So go check that out, and we'll catch you on the next video.